Good morning, traders. George Troop here taking a look at the markets at the start of an extremely busy and exciting day. Uh, earnings season continues and we have a load of companies to look at. Uh, markets have just opened uh, slightly higher today. You can see the FTSE up a little bit after a strong start to the week yesterday. Um, DAX in a similar boat, really. Um, as you can see here from this chart, uh, lots of companies reporting today. As I mentioned, uh, we've got Novartis, uh, Reddit, Benkiza, and Covestro reporting before the bell today uh, in Europe. Uh, and a big one that's just already reported is UBS. Um, let's get this chart up for you. Uh, you can see big jump on the open today, up um, a about, yeah, 0.6% or so, uh, but nice little jump there on the charts. They reported net profit uh, of about $2.3 billion. Uh, so that's quite a big one. Uh, definitely beating analyst expectations there after a real boom in wealth management over the last few months. Um, Otherwise, Michelin yesterday also posting better than expected third quarter sales. Uh, we had Logitech, the computer peripherals maker in uh, Swiss, uh, reporting an increase in second quarter sales on the back of surging demand from home workers. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of uh, reports uh, for figures coming up all over the place. Later today, if we look ahead towards the American market. Let's just go have a look at this lovely Dow chart that just keeps <laughs> going higher and higher. Uh, we do have Alphabet and Microsoft reporting after the bell um, later on today. Uh, S&P as well also hitting new highs yesterday. Um, yesterday we also had the big one which was Facebook. Let's have a look at that chart because it's pretty cool. Um, they reported after the bell and were up about 1% um, after I was trading. You can see, oh, that's, hang on, that's BP. Here you go. Facebook gap up about 1% in after hours trading, um, having missed expectations for revenue, but topping analysts' earnings expectations. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this bad press they've been having in the last few weeks will affect their fourth quarter earnings, but the third one seemed to survive okay. Um, so yeah, as I say, we'll have lots of different stocks to look at later on today. Um, in other news, let's have a quick look at currency pairs. Slightly flat start to the day for cable um, and similar for Euro, Euro dollar down slightly. Um, so bit flat in the currency world this morning. Um, commodities tends to be a bit more doing there. Um, they have pulled back slightly after all hitting new heights yesterday. Um, oil down a little bit today. Crude still going, uh, still around the $85 mark. Uh, so that's definitely one to keep an eye on. Um, natural gas down slightly after a big jump up yesterday. Uh, so that's calming down slightly, but yeah, a lot of volatility in these commodity markets um, with rising gas prices and everything, supply chain issues as well, all coming into play. Um, and last but not least, let's just have a quick Bitcoin check for today. Um, definitely pulled off those highs from last week slightly, a bit of profit taking probably going on, uh, but still looks to be moving around quite a lot if we're honest um yesterday it was definitely up for the day uh and today is starting pretty solidly so thanks very much i'll be back later looking at some of those companies in a bit more detail uh, and of course around for the us open in the afternoon thanks very much have a good morning